Welcome to Asa TV, wherever you are following us live from. My name is Michael Asante, and I'm your host of Asa TV. Live with us at the studio here today is Miss Deborah Azika, the ICAG 2021 Best Graduating Student, April 2021. That is the Institute of Chartered Accountancy, Ghana, April 2021 Best Graduating um, student. She is here with us live at the studio. You are welcome, Deborah. Thank you, Asad. Wow. Thank you so much for having me here. Wow, you are welcome. <laughs> you were trending everywhere. <laughs> hey, today we've had you. Yeah. Mm, then today I'm going to trend too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> viewers, today we are looking at the topic determination. Determination. And before Miss Deborah comes in, want to pick some quotes from some um, influential personalities. Uh, we have um, Bill Gates. Bill Gates says that your thoughts define Then we have another one. To, he says, I never consider the possibility of failure. As long as you persist, you'll be successful. That is Napoleon Hill. Then recently, um, looking at the Tokyo 2020, we have one Quotes from Shelley and Fraser Price. Shelley and Fraser is a very good uh, lady, and she says that at the end of life, what will matter is not what we brought, but what we built, not our success, but our significance. Continue to use me, Lord. So, looking at the various quotes that have been used here, it's all inspired the spirit of determination. And Miss Deborah Azika is here live with us determination <laughs> she was crowned the viral best of the april 2021 icag um session wow so you are welcome once again thank you thank you Asa. if i may ask who is miss deborah <laughs> <laughs> okay so miss deborah azika um she's just a young girl who is also inspiring to become somebody in future? Yeah, okay. you are now you are now somebody. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm I'm still a work in progress. You know, actually everybody is. So you leave this at. So I'm still one. Yeah, and I'm inspiring to become somebody in future. Yeah, <laughs> by God's grace, I was crowned the overall best graduating candidate at the 2021. The April 2021 Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana graduation. Wow. Yeah. So. So how was it? How was the joy? <laughs> I don't know, but it's. I was just filled with gratitude. That was it because mm -hmm. for me it was such a big deal to have mm -hmm. come that far. So I was just filled with gratitude to God, to my parents, and all the people who are inspiring me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if you are watching us live, what you have to do is to just share this link for someone to connect with us. This video is also streamed live at um, Asa TV YouTube. You can be a proud sponsor of this program um, by contacting us on 024 want to acknowledge Gracefield Clinic for their sponsorship package. Um, you can locate Gracefield Clinic um, at North Carnation for all your, um, your health tests. You can contact them on 24 Live at the studio with us here is Miss Deborah Azika, the ICAG April 2021 best graduating student. And I know that the youth are watching us live today. There are a lot of golden nuggets that are going to be picked today. And I know that your life will not be the same. Yeah. So, Miss Debbie. Wow. What are you doing in the so Hey. What are you doing in Hey, sir. Mm, you have some suits. It wasn't small wasn't suits. Wow. From where? Wow. Nyami Waebi. Waebi. And so, your family life. Okay, so I come from a family of five. Okay. We are three children and our parents. Okay. And currently my family, they are all in Tichiman, in okay. the Bonne East region. Okay. And yeah, so 
That was where I was giving birth to actually, so I grew up there. But we come from a village called Via in Bongo District, Upper okay. East region. That's where we come from. Okay. But my family has been in um, Tishiman all this while since I was born. Yeah, we go back to our hometown, but I mean, that, that um, Tishiman has kind of been a permanent okay. residence here for us. So you lived in VR before? Yeah, mm. I lived there. Mm. But Around her stage? Yes, I think from primary five. So I completed, um, I completed GHS. Mm. I was living in Nyaraka. It is mm. also, it's closer to VR, okay. also in the Bongi district. But that's where my mom comes from. Okay. My dad comes from VR. So okay. I happen to stay at my mom's hand to go to. Yeah. So how is life at VR? I know most people are following life <laughs> from VR. Mm -hmm. You know, life, <laughs> when I was there, you know, life in a way wasn't, it was a bit difficult, let me put it that way. It was a bit difficult and that was even when I was staying at my mom's and that's in Arika to school. It all were not smooth, but... We, we still managed to go through. And when I went there, it wasn't like it used to be in Teshiman because my mom sells food. So when I was in Teshiman, even no matter how things, you know, how wrong things might be, you will definitely get food to eat because okay. she will cook to sell and you get to eat. For Teshiman to have there are a lot of they grow food stuff so yeah. for yam and those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah sure. Mm. So that was it. But then when I went to um, when I went to stay at Nyaraka, that place wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. There were times that it became difficult to get food to eat. Mm -hmm. And lunch wasn't a usual thing. Okay. Lunch wasn't a usual thing. Okay. It used to be two square meals. It, that's breakfast and supper. Okay. Lunch wasn't something we used to do that much. It comes once in a while. Okay. But it was okay. It was all a learning point. You know, things were, were a bit mm -hmm. I mean, difficult, but mm -hmm. still managed to sell you. <laughs> okay, wow. So um, that's your place. Yeah. Um, you had electricity then, you know. Mm. No. Mm. As at then, where I come from, we didn't have electricity. Mm. But Nyaraka, where I was staying at that point, had electricity. But mm. my house didn't have electricity. Mm. So do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the house that I was staying in didn't have electricity. Mm, so when God said let there be light, <laughs> the light didn't extend to the them. light didn't extend to Wow. Yeah. Wow. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So your education? Yeah, so I started education in Tichman. Um with a school called Association International School. The and school is Association. International wow. School. <laughs> but the name has changed now. They mm. full branded the school. Mm. So that is where I started from mm at age six mm. and yes so i started from primary two mm. i didn't do the normal crutch and the normal wabi. Wabi and the yeah. <laughs> i didn't do that i went to school late and that was at age six so i i just started off from i started off from primary one because they had grouped us into um, ages and based mm. on your age that is where you go so I was in primary one, but I think within two or three months, I was moved to primary two. Mm. So I joined my colleagues in primary two and I moved on from there. So that was, I think when I was in primary three, I had to change school. I moved to a different school. Okay. And from there, I did primary three and I moved to primary four. I think it just at the end of first term in primary four, so I had to move to a different school again, all in teaching man. Yeah. I, um, I moved from that school that I that was initiated international school. I moved to Methodist primary school simply my parents like couldn't afford okay. I had to move to the Methodist that was government so there was no much paying school fees and other things. So I did primary four, the remaining terms of prim primary four there, then I finally moved to Naraka to continue from primary. Okay. And yeah, that's where I schooled and I completed GHS. GHS. So I brought SHS to come to mm. Northern School of Business. So how was the BC? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the BC it was okay. Mm. I managed to pass, mm. but it wasn't anything 
that good as people expected of me. Mm. But, well, I just managed to pass and I got admission to SHS. SHS. That's all that matters. It's, at least it was another time to redeem myself. So when there were no lights there, how, how was your learning mechanism? What were you putting into yeah. it? So when I went there earlier, um, I think that was in primary. In primary school, I used not to like really sit down like this to learn. Okay. It wasn't something I used to do. So I just go to school, come back, the next day you go again. And when it's um, next week is exam, you just scan through your books the week mm. before the exam and you go and write something. That's what I used to do. But when I got to JHS, that's when I realized that I needed to start learning. And by then, my, I was staying with my grandmother and uncle. So my grandmother's lantern that I went to meet there, that's what I used. So we, I used the lantern, and that was powered by kerosene. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I used to learn. And so I think when I got to JHS2, my grandmother said that she saw somebody using a certain type of, um, um, how do we even call that thing? It's kind of light that you powered with this normal battery. Okay. Yeah, she saw somebody using that, and she thought that could help me. So we managed to put resources together, and we got that one. Wow. And that was what I was using so i got to uh, yeah i got to write bc so you were a fan of learning yeah but when <laughs> <laughs> not anything that's serious as i said mostly mm -hmm. i usually don't do the come home and learn thing mm -hmm. it is go to school come home do house chores and the next day i go to school again mm -hmm. that was the routine until so it's exam next week mm -hmm. then you i have to prepare and go and write exam Mm. Mostly, that was it. It was when I was getting to write BEC that I needed to now start really learning to prepare for BEC. Mm. Wow, so SHS. Yeah, SHS. I went to Northern School of Business in Tamale. Mm. And I read business. Yeah. And with SHS, I remember when we had to go, that was in 2011. Mm. Yeah, that we had to go to SHS. And mostly, the first time that we needed to go, I couldn't. She paid for it and I wasn't so okay to go to school. And that was when they had to find a way. They wrote a letter to the school, to defer, um, the school that I couldn't come the first time, but okay. I'll come the next time with hopes that by then I'll get better. Hmm. Yeah, so, and God being so good, when it got to that time, I was better. So I went the second thing to join my colleagues. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, I love this quote by Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon Hill says that victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. So um, you could see that from her initial stage, she couldn't go for the first um, stage. Um, she wasn't feeling well, but you persisted, right? Mm -hmm. So the next yeah. time you were able to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how was the fun? <laughs> yeah, it was great. I mean, it was good. Mm. Most, you know, it wasn't that big school that everybody heard of, like mm. Oliko and all that. No. But it was also a nice place. We went there, we learned. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. There wasn't much to do. Well, one thing is, I wasn't uh, that kind of entertainment people. Okay. The only option that you had was to go for entertainment on, I think, Saturday night. Yes, that was Saturdays. And so it's usually you go to school, after school you come to the dorm and do all you needed to do, go for prep and all that. And I was part of Katsu, Catholic Students Union okay. in yeah, Nobi School. So every evening we go, to, we go for church service before we come for prep. So I think 30 minutes before prep you go to church, you go and learn something more before we now go for prep. So that was kind of the routine. But it was, it was fun because I met people and we got to share ideas together. I made great friends that we are actually very good friends up to today. Mm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. So then finally, university. Yeah, finally, I went to University of Cape Coast <laughs> in 2015. Mm. Yes, and I read Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, become Accounting. Mm.
I mean, good English and now coming to say come schools. What about me? Mm. Hey, what am I going to do? <laughs> it was I was scared at a point, but then I told myself, hey, we came here. You came even. I mean, I went to Nordic School of Business. I just went to the big big schools, and then we met here. So it's still that same grace that brought me this far. That will see me through. So no need to worry much. That's what I told myself. So I was okay. I remember by then when it's time to go and write comms schools, either a quiz or exams, this, they'll come and they'll write some things. When you have rasta hair, you feel when you have this. You, <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had rasta hair. You know, all those things were there, but I cared less. <laughs> and I remember when we had to do liberals, I yeah. got a course in man and his environment. That day I was sleeping when somebody came, a friend who was in level 200 by then, came to my room and he was like, they were discussing about the liberals and he said, did anybody get man and his environment? And mm -hmm. my friend said, yes, Deborah did. I was sleeping, I was like, hey, you know, what, what program did she, what course did she read in SHS? That's when I woke up, I was like, what course did I read? I read business. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, man and his environment is chemistry. These people, they just put the names to confuse you. It's chemistry. You better go and change it too, because that course, you can't do it. Ah, I w that got me scared again. But I was like, no, what if I go and change this and I get a more harder course, mm. like a difficult one? What am I going to do? Anything is possible. People read it and they pass, so I can also do it. So I just closed my mind to that and I moved on with my life. And I still went on to do the money his environment. Mm. At the end of the day, I passed. You passed. Same by God's grace. Yeah. 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 So university was school. I got to, at the end of level 100, I... I think I was a second class upper student, wow. but level 200, um, by God's grace, I became a first class student. And wow. from there, I got to um, take the School of Business Dean's Award. Yeah. Hey, so you had the Dean's Award? <laughs> yeah. Hey. And I gra graduated with first class as well. Wow. Wow. You yeah. know, I met um, Miss Deborah at um, the same hall. I was yeah. at Kwame Nkoma Hall. I think then I was the whole secretary I had handed over. I think level three hundred. Yes. So I had handed over. Yeah, I think I was. I was in, in that stage. Then Miss Deborah, I saw a very God-fearing lady. We first met at Kwame Nkrumah or Christian Fellowship (KNHCF). She was a committed servant of God, always serving in the house of God, and you were able to combine these things. Uh, because you were always um, vibrant and committed and active in a Christian fellowship. And by the grace of God, you were able to have first class <laughs> with all the meetings, the bank road meetings. You know, wow. Yeah. You see, one thing, every day I've been telling myself that, and I tell people that when I went to UCC, level 100 was the, um, the level that I learned much. Mm. And I came to use it because it was my first time in UCC. I wanted to learn, I wanted to get things right, you know. I learned a lot in level 100, but level 100 was the level that I had less, I mean, <laughs> grades or mm. let's say CGPA mm. at the end of it all. So uh, when I came level 100, I was in uh, KNHCF and other things. But I don't know, something changed when I got to level 200. When I got to level two, by then too, I used to go to church, Park mm. Romana. Mm. But I wasn't, even though I used to go, but I, was, I wasn't like, I go on Sundays, all other days, apart from KNHCF, I don't go for a harm. But then when I got to level 200, I joined the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in my, in my church, mm. Park Romana UCC. And then I joined a ministry under the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, that was teaching ministry. So the teaching ministry, there was this gentleman, his teachings were just wonderful. No. The way he would come and teach you about how, you know, you are a Christian and this other thing. I realized that there were so many things in Christ that I wasn't even tapping into. Mm -hmm. I was just sitting in my small corner with my small, trying to learn everything and pass everything by myself. Mm -hmm. But from that teachings, I really got to know that, yeah, it isn't about your strength, but you know, there is a God we serve, and I mean, as a Christian, there are so many resources that you get to tap into, in, I mean, within, by your Christian faith. So that helped me a lot. I, I kind of got that teachings, got hold of it, and it's 
I mean, my faith increased based on that. So even though by then I was now going for church programs, I mean, even when the next day I have a, a, a exam or something, I'll still go for a program and all that. But it still never affected me because by then my faith has been built up and I kind of got hold of something that was keeping me mm. free. Mm. We don't <laughs> want to deviate from, um, we are not deviating from the, the question. Like, how did you encounter Christ? Because I see you as a stout, committed Christian. How did you meet Christ? Well, I was born into, let me say, a Christian family. Not a very, kind of a very vibrant one, but my mom was and still is a Christian. And yeah, so when I was born, you know, as a kid, you follow your mom to church no. and all that. So that was the usual. So your mom is also a Catholic, right? No, my mom is a Pentecostal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, see. I was actually not a Catholic from the beginning, okay. but when I relocated to um, my when I relocated to go and stay with my mom's family, yeah, that was when I became a Catholic because they were Catholics. Okay. Yeah, so I joined them. Okay. Yeah. So it was. And now you are you are a Catholic yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. So it was kind of following your mom to church and all that. So I went to North and I also continued. So all this while, like, I knew I was a Christian, I knew I was, you know, uh, all that. I got baptized when I was in, I think, GHS or so. Okay. Yeah, that's when I, I got baptized and all that. So all by then, like, the, I knew about being a Christian or all that, but I don't know how to explain this. You know, the faith and the convictions in Christ, you know, they were not there because okay. I was a Christian, but I... I didn't really get hold of those things. Yeah. When I was in SHS, I was very vibrant. I learned a lot and all. But there were some things that just didn't add up. Yeah. So I got to the university and things changed much. Wow. Wow. You can be a proud sponsor of these <laughs> programs, ASA TV programs. You just have to contact us on 0243 0243 to be a proud sponsor of ASA TV programs. I want to acknowledge Forever Construction and Consultancy Limited. Um, do you want a land to buy? Do you want people, to, um, a, a firm that will give you advice on your building? Uh, they can also embark on real estate for you. All that you need to do is to contact Forever Construction and Consultancy Limited on 0501204040. Asa TV, our main focus is taking the globe for Christ. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, everywhere. Just subscribe to our channel. Like and share for someone to also connect. We have a lot of golden nuggets and compelling content for you. Live at the studio with us here today. It's Miss Deborah Azika, who is the ICAG 2021 Best Graduating Student, April 2021. That's the Institute of Chartered Accountancy, Ghana. So she's a chartered accountant. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we are getting there. After UCC, you had your service at Ministry of Finance, right? Yes, yeah. mm. After UCC, I had my service at Ministry of Finance. Wow. Wow, well, you're a shark, Dada. First <laughs> class and a Ministry of Finance. Mm. Hey, so, how was the place? Oh, very great place. Mm. Good learning environment. Too. Okay. So, you had the mind to further your education. That was the Institute of Chartered Accountants. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. started the courses on campus or after no, school? After school. I mm. did that when I was doing my national service. Okay. Yes. Mm. So, I had in mind that I was going to do that when I was on campus. But I started actually after I had completed. Okay. That's when I was doing my national service. That's when I started. Okay. And how was it, the courses? <laughs> and you took it like porridge. Oh, hey. no, no, no. <laughs> you no. backed for awards. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what were the awards? Okay, so I had an award in um, Best Student in Advanced Taxation, Best first attempt, overall best female and overall best graduating candidate. Wow. So nice. 
so 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 nice wow mm, and you trained <laughs> everywhere that day we are honored to have you here so you are still working with the ministry of finance yes. right mm. No, so you see here, she can buy after <laughs> TV soon. <laughs> so it's all about determination, beloved. Wherever you are watching us, it's all about determination. To bring the curtains down, where do you want to be in the next five years? <laughs> in the next five years, I pray that by the grace of God, I will climb up the corporate ladder, you know get to by then you know you said i'm a chartered accountant but yeah. the thing is i'm in a process of becoming a chartered accountant okay because when you pass the exam you still have to um you need some number of working experience some number of years yeah working experience to become a chartered accountant so i'm still in the process so yes in the next five years i pray by then i'll be a chartered accountant and i'll have so much knowledge in that field you know i want to go in that get to know how increase my knowledge and you know all in the field of accountancy and the field of finance as well yes and by then too i pray that i'll be able to give back to others who are now coming up yes maybe share your experience with them help others who are kind of who will maybe be in my shoes just like I was. Um, I, the other time I told somebody that things that you see, they have a way of shaping your thoughts, they have a way of shaping your perspectives, they have a way of shaping your, I mean, your vision and all that. Sometimes all that people see, um, let's say you take some ladies and then all that they see is just that somebody, all their colleagues get pregnant at a certain age and get married. You should also expect that trend, if not by the grace of God, for something to change. But when you get to see, um, sex, when you get to see that people are able to climb their success, success ladder, especially from a stage that used to you are, you, are, you kind of connect with that. You kind of um, it resonates with you, and you know you look at that, and it also shapes your perspective that I can also do this. So yeah, I think it's a great thing to also share my experience as time goes on, so that people. And learn from it, and also try to find their feet. Wow, that's awesome! That's so awesome, Miss Deborah. So your age, <laughs> mm? young girl. She's a young girl. Okay, very young, I'm very but pushing. Old. Very, no, very she's so old. young. Hey, I'm very but pushing, old. pushing. Whoever wants to know my age, she come and see me later. Yeah, that one there. You see her. She's young, very young. If you mention her name. Uh, very young, <laughs> but she's pushing. Mm -hmm. So success is not um, uh, age is not a determinant factor of success. I made this quote last week. Um, age is not a determinant factor of success. Now uh, we ha we live in an environment where um, people think you should be very old before you can do something, or if you are young, you can't do something. I just want you to know that in the foreign world, because of where I work also, you see young people who are contributing to, um, hugely to, 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 to their neighborhood, to their country at a tender age. So age is not a determinant. Look at the man called, we have um, Alexander the Great, very young man, and he was able to conquer um, almost half of the world at a tender age. Yeah, so Miss Deborah, <laughs> the men can age in, or a very young, and she's really pushing. It's not about the age, it's about your brain. So, we want you to have a last word for the viewers here who are watching us on determination. <laughs> okay, so my last words as as i said from the very beginning i think he shared a quote of bill gates that said that your thoughts hmm. define you right yes please yeah. so i i agree with that it is your t like everything begins from your mind everything begins from your mind as the bible said 
The Bible, there's this quotation that says, Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above what we ask or think of by the power that worked in us. You have realized that mostly when people quote this particular scripture, they leave out the power that worked in us, like in us. But it does the, does the, I mean, there is something in that particular thing. The power that works in us. So the power is already in you as a Christian. The power is already in you. So you have it already. You just have to capitalize on it. So for me, what I would say is that just begin to see that, yes, you have that power already. Let everything start from your mind. Don't see yourself less of. Don't see yourself less of. Just like let everything begin to flow in your mind. When you are doing everything, there is a possibility of success. There's a possibility of failure. But whichever you get, it's a 50-50 thing. You either win or you lose. But whichever you get to, I mean, put your mind on, there is a high possibility that that is what will manifest. So when you are doing something, instead of concentrating on the failure, you should look at the brighter side of it. Concentrate on the side, winning. or Even if you fail, you don't give up. You can fail 10 times and still rise up and do the same thing. I got opportunity to meet um, a multi-millionaire in the Ghanaian oil industry. And when he told us his story, he actually went through a number of rejections. And the last time, if he would, like, what he told us, what he had to go through. But then he still went through all that. And when he thought he was given up and somebody just recommended one person, that was the breakthrough for him. So no matter how many times you feel, so still see to it that you are capable. You have the power in you. God has given you the grace already, and you can do it. Just keep a positive mentality. And yes, I believe by the grace of God, you can do it. God didn't create you a failure. Wow, wow, wow. This is a very great vessel God is using in our time. Our time is up. I picked some nuggets from Ms. Deborah's. Um, explanation right now not explanation motivation don't see yourself less of so whoever is listening to us on asa tv don't see yourself less of she also made mention that whatever you do there is a possibility of success and there is a possibility of failure but what you focus on is the most important thing god bless you so much for honoring Amen our invitation we don't take it for granted at all you have a tight schedule <laughs> the ministry alone is not easy Yay. then the finance and yeah easy two ways okay but we're heavy <laughs> uh -huh. but you have hard time for us yeah. god bless you so much yeah. we want you to give shout out to those some some few people hey, hey. so god bless you to asa tv yeah, thanks welcome. for having me welcome. so shout outs to Whoever gets to watch this, mm -hmm. it is to you first before any other person comes in. And then to my mom, to my dad, and to my big brother and my big sister. You guys are the best. Your motivation, I mean, they keep me going. So thank you so much. And to all my friends, Olivia, Winnie, Fred, Rita, Kobe, all of you, and the major public leaders, fellows, you guys are the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the media team. I can't leave this without acknowledging them. <laughs> My boss, Mr. Richie Williams, he's a great man. He's behind the scene and he's controlling everything. God bless you for also making this possible. Please, you can also be a proud sponsor of ASA TV programs. Sponsor things that will impact life. And I know God will also bless you. Yes. And you just have to contact us on 0243 This contact is also on the mobile money. Last time, one, one, one lady said, Michael, who born and best in 10 times to say, Embra, Kakra, Kakra, no, Bia, Yeah, so 0243 235019. Michael Asante. This is also on Mubaman. You can support this work. God bless you so much. To our sponsors, Gracefield Clinic. If you want every checkups, all your checkups, every checkup, you just have to contact Gracefield Herbal Clinic. 
Gracefield Herbal Clinic. They are located at North Carnation, closer to St. Teresa's School. And this, your contact 024-995-7116. 024-995-7116. Then Forever Construction and Consultancy also. For all your building projects you want a land to buy, you can also contact Forever and they will deliver to you. God bless you for whoever followed us live. And um, we just we can't close the curtain without um, taking someone to Christ. If you are here, want to give your life to Christ, uh, Miss Deborah will do that. She's a very good <laughs> Christian and she will pray for us finally. Okay. So if you are here and you don't know Christ, all I want to tell you is that you are missing out on something great. And for us, your soul matters that much to us. Yes, there is eternity for everyone, but where you get to spend yours is the determinant here. And there is no middle ground. So, and you know what I'm talking about. There is eternity for everyone. And Jesus is definitely coming the second time. And the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only begotten son. So that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So when you believe in Jesus, you don't get to perish, but you get to have eternal life, and you enjoy it in the kingdom of heaven. So if you've not given your life to Christ, I want to urge you today to think about it and give your life to Christ. And so if you want to do it right now, I would just want you to say this words after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the opportunity to know you. I thank you for my life. Today, I come to you and I surrender everything unto you. I give my life to you. Lord, forgive me for all that I have done in my past and turn me. Come and be the Lord, the master and the savior of my life. Give unto me your Holy Spirit to see me through this journey. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So, <laughs> Madam Deborah will pray for you. Finally. So, Lord, we thank you. We give you the praise. We worship your holy name. We say you are Lord all by yourself. And there is no argument about that. We thank you for the opportunity to be alive today. We thank you for your grace that you've bestowed upon us to sit here and to share these wisdom, words of wisdom, to share our knowledge so that we can all learn from it. We pray that, Lord, even as we are living here, Lord, you take care of us. We pray that you let your angels guide us. You let your angels carry us in their hands, O oh Lord. Father, we pray that... Whatever we shared here, whoever is going to listen to it, this Lord, let these words carry power and let them impact life, oh Jesus. We pray that, Lord, whoever gave his or her life unto you today, Lord, may you be with him, may you direct him, may you journey Amen. with him. Lord, we pray that you grant him or her the Holy Spirit to walk with you, to never turn back, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, oh Lord. Father, we pray that you take care of each and every one of us, those listening and all of us here, oh God. You let us manifest your glory wherever we find ourselves, oh Jesus. Lord, we pray that the grace that you have given unto us, you let each and every person listening to this connect to that grace, oh Lord. We are witnessed by your grace. Jesus. We are witnessed, oh Lord, and we are not failing. We refuse to accept that aspect. In the aspect. name of Jesus. So we pray that, Lord, you will see us too. And you favor us in everything that we do. That continuously we will journey with you. Lord, we thank you. We give you the praise. Because we know that this you have answered already. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you for connecting with us. Taking the globe for Christ. Thank you. My Lord is